Hey guys, that's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be taking a quick look at prefab workflows inside of Unreal Engine 4. So what this is essentially going to allow us to do is pretty much group a whole bunch of different assets of different asset types. Uh, so you can see here with this group you can see I've got a whole bunch of different static meshes, some a point light and a particle system and I can pretty much save that put it together as a group in the content browser and then just take it out of the content browser and just place it and the whole purpose for this is to save time because uh, placing all of these tree stumps uh, individually it can be quite time consuming uh, and yeah it's really great uh, especially for modular assets. Um, so let me just show you another example here you can see I've got table, chairs, uh, a little statue on there and a couch and if I wanted to I could just drag that little group out again instead of having to place it one by one which does take quite a bit of time so that's pretty much what this is going to be uh, just me showing you how to use blueprint cl uh, classes to uh, save you a bit of time so I'm just going to go ahead and delete these delete these delete these and uh, yeah let's get started so I'm going to go ahead and start off by placing a bunch of uh, assets into the scene. So I'm just going to go into my content browser and I'm just going to go down to starter content, props and I'm going to place a bunch of stuff in here. So I'm going to put in this ceiling lamp for whatever reason. Actually no, let's put in this. Okay, maybe I don't need that. Let's just put in the couch, a couple of chairs, one there, one there. Let's get a table and uh, let's get the little statue thing on the table as well. Now you can see here that I've got to go ahead and move the table, I've got to move the chairs and get it into the right position and all that good stuff. But with prefabs, uh, we're only really going to have to do that once. So I'm just going to stick with this. Uh, so I'm going to add another actor just to show you that uh, we can do more than one type. It's not just static meshes. So we can do lights, we can do particle systems, sounds, whatever. And I'm just going to play around with the color there. And once I've done that, we can go ahead and create this into a blueprint class. If we wanted to, we could add a whole bunch of different functionality and stuff to this blueprint class. class but just the whole point of this right now is just to uh, pretty much show you how prefabs work inside of Unreal Engine. So with all of the assets selected that you want in the group, just go up to blueprints, click the little arrow up here and press convert selected components to blueprint class. And I'm just gonna call this test prefab one and just go ahead and press create blueprint. And once you, once you do that, you can see it's gonna open up in this little window here and you can see we got all the little assets. Sometimes not all of them come through, uh, but most of the time it should do. You can see I've got my lights, you've got the chair and everything. So I just want to show you something really cool. If you actually have this blueprint class in your scene, if you adjust it inside of the content browser, it's going to change accordingly. So if I was to go and move this chair, you can see it's moving uh, like that. And even if you have multiple instances of uh, the class, it's going to do that. So just keep that in mind. Also, you can play around with the properties inside of the class. So the light, for example, if I wanted to change it to maybe sort of grotty nightclub, stripper club, whatever, make it pink or just do whatever I need to do. I can do that quite easily. Just pretty much click it and then just adjust all the settings. Same goes for the static meshes, sounds and all of that good stuff. Anyway, so now that we actually have this prefab uh, you know, blueprint class in our scene, we can just go ahead and drag it out. It's as simple as that. Place one there, drag it up a little bit so it's above the ground. Do the same again over here. Now, if you're wondering why it's going underneath the ground like that, it's probably because in your prefab class, if I go to the viewport section, uh, the base is actually underneath this little, these bunch of lines here. So we just need to move this up a little bit. Uh, it's going to move everything up in the scene because I've moved it accordingly already. Uh, so we're going to have to readjust that. So you might want to just make sure that you have the location um, on the on the axis here. Correct. Just before you start. So I'm going to keep moving it up just until I get it about right. There we go. That should be fine for now. And now if I go ahead and place another one in, it should be pretty much directly on the ground. And yeah. 
close enough. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you for prefabs. It's absolutely great. It can save you a whole bunch of time. Great for working with modular assets um, and, you know, repetitive levels and all that good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.